I've been using and testing MailerLite for a few months now, and I'm pretty surprised at how well this platform is performing. I was skeptical at first, but I'm pleasantly surprised at this point. And so today I'm gonna give you a review of how it's been going for me, show you a little bit around the platform, let you know about what I like, what I don't like, and maybe it might change your mind too on what you wanna do. If this is the first time you're seeing me, my name is Josh and I am a certified digital marketing specialist. I specialize in affiliate marketing, email marketing and automation. And my goal here is to help you learn the best strategies to use with your marketing, what tools are the best and which ones you should use, which ones you should stay away from, as well as helping you learn automation strategies to free up your time. And today in this video, I'm gonna go over MailerLite, which is a platform that's been around for a while, but it's kind of been flying under the radar in terms of most email marketing platforms. Now there is a company that I follow quite a bit called Email Tool Tester, and I'll have a link down below that's gonna actually give you a little bit of information as to what they're about, and it's gonna go through their email deliverability report that I'm gonna reference in here. But the big thing that stood out to me was that MailerLite actually was hitting the top of these deliverability reports. And the most recent report in April, 2022, which is around the time that I decided to start testing this platform, they had a 98% score in their deliverability from this platform. Now I'll let you read through all of the stuff of what they do in their testing, but I wanna show you a little bit about why that is. Now, if you don't know what MailerLite is, it is an email marketing platform that's designed around being more inclusive into your business, allowing you more customization and also having a more ease of use platform that doesn't scare the average person. A lot of the reason why they're making waves at this point in time is because they're hitting those high deliverability marks. They're allowing for that extra customization that I'll show you a little bit later. And they've been making constant updates to make their platform more intuitive and user-friendly. So let's dive right in here. I'm gonna show you my screen and I'll show you a little bit about what their platform's like. So here you see I'm on my dashboard for MailerLite and the first thing that you're probably gonna notice is dark theme. Honestly, I was blown away when they came out with the dark theme. I, that was one of the big things that, that got me right away because no other platform that I've been using has had any sort of dark theme like this. And so I'm really sensitive to light with my eyes. And so this was a big plus for me right away. But you can see on the dashboard, it gives a couple of different things. And you can see that I've been using the platform for a little while here. I've sent uh, quite a bit of emails and you can see here, I've got a decent amount of subscribers in here. You can see here, I've been actually doing pretty decent, getting some good opens here. I've been seeing right about that 35% mark in terms of getting the emails out. And it, you can notice in May, I had just about 9,700 emails that I sent. And then in June, I had about 26,000. It actually, I was really impressed with the fact that my open rate, getting more people in my list, it didn't really drop off that much, which is a good indication that deliverability is pretty high. When we're looking at the features, so obviously on the dashboard, it gives you kind of an overview of what everything looks like. I don't really have anything going on in forms or sites right now, but that's what's really cool, right? Is they aren't just a, email marketing platform, they actually have an ability for you to set up custom forms and custom sites. So that way you can just do everything in their platform if you really wanted to. So one of the things that usually stands out when people are looking at email marketing platforms is how do you organize your subscribers? And in MailerLite, instead of using lists or segmentations, they do have segmentations, but their main organization is groups. And groups are basically the same thing as lists from other types of applications. And the way that this works is they group your contacts together in whatever group that you've specified. And then that allows you to be able to have a clean look at those subscribers. So back on the screen here, you'll notice that I've got a list of groups here and some of them are for certain things on, on team-based stuff. I've got, uh, 
a promotional group here that is for people that are looking for more information. I've got my newsletter group and then I've got my Patreon group with my patrons in there so I can send them transactional emails, you know, updates about our masterminds going on, things like that. By the way, if you didn't know, I had launched a digital marketing mastermind recently. That is going to be down below in the description as well. So check that out. And uh, I'd love to have you in there. We, we do some tips and tricks about digital marketing. So anyways, with the groups, you get the ability to kind of get a holistic view with all of this. And it also gives you some quick stats of how your groups are going, what the average open rate is, and what the average click rate is. And you can see, obviously, my patrons are gonna be the highest because they're engaged with me more directly. Same thing with my team, and then even the, the marketing channel, and then the newsletter, obviously, that's a newsletter. It's mostly value-based. What's really cool about this is that I can use these groups in automations, and I can use these groups as my basis for when I'm sending broadcast emails, and it's just, it's a really great way to organize your contacts. A couple other things you'll notice over here on the left side, they do have a, a template section, and the campaign section, that's gonna be pretty typical for most campaigns. It's not really all that different than what I've seen with other companies, and so I'm not gonna dive in too deep with that one. But the templates, I do want it to show that a little bit. As you can see here, I've got a few templates that are set up and ready to go. I use these templates. I've got my digital marketing mastermind templates. I've got a simple template, and then I've got a couple different main templates, one without a call to action and one with a call to action. As the previews load here, you'll see them pop in. The reason why these templates are amazing is because I don't have to do all of this stuff manually. I can just set up these templates and have them ready to go. And every time I create a campaign or set up my automations or whatever the case may be, these templates are here for me to use so I can actually get through the process quicker. And so as you see, the, the preview just came up. And so here's all these different templates. And you can see some of these already have some text in them. This one's got my big call to action in it. So like if I preview this one real quick, you can see I've got my little placeholder that says insert text here. And then all of this is my signature underneath that. I've got my call to action, a picture of my family, and then all of my legal stuff down here. And so what's nice is I don't have to type this in every time. I just set up the template once and I'm ready to go. And the other great thing about MailerLite that I love is that they have automations right here and the automations are fairly simple. You don't have to go through a lot of additional work to get the automations to get set up. So I have a couple different ones here. I have a welcome sequence for people that join my team within HBA. Then I also have a, a welcome series for people that want more information about HBA, which is our all-in-one offer that's there. And here's what's great about this is when people join these specific groups, you can see I have it listed when subscriber joins this group, when subscriber joins this group. And that is why the groups are so powerful is because you can set these automations that when somebody joins that group, whether it's through a form or through your site or through a manual edition where you put them in manually, it automatically will start these series and it sends out, though each of these have multiple emails in them and it sends them out and it's, it, it just makes it really easy to use. And I wanna show you real quick what it looks like when you're setting up this automation. So in here, I'm in this testing automation and I just picked one of the groups, I picked my patrons. So over here on the right side, you'll see it's got this, you know, when a subscriber joins a group and there's other options in here, you know, completes a form, clicks a link, updates a field, the anniversary of a date, the exact match of a date. So there's different ways that you can set up these automations. And then you can choose here, if I'm choosing groups, I can choose any one of these. And now they just recently, they updated this add another trigger so you could have two different triggers go into the same flow if you wanted but what's really neat about this is once you're once you're done with each of these sections and you save it and you go add the next one it doesn't give you a whole bunch of options it's just what do you want to do do you want to send an email do you want to wait do you have a condition or do you want to take an action and so for like actions for example the actions could be update a field, copy to a group, move to a group, remove from a group, uh, mark as unsubscribed, move to another step. And I love how it's simple. I used to use a lot of other plat platforms. I still do a couple other ones like Git Response, for example, and they have so many different options and so many different ways you can do things. And it took a while to learn that. For here, really straightforward. And so that's a big plus for me. The other thing that really stands out to me as well is 
the integration that they have. So right away, MailerLite does have their own API and the funnel builders that I've seen all over the place will integrate directly with this API. Now, the one that I use, the HBA Funnel Builder, I don't even have to do any sort of web hooks or anything like that. It's a direct integration. So all I got to do is grab my API from here, plug it into my Funnel Builder, and I can just run it that way. Especially if you're not going to use the built-in sites feature, it's really handy to have that. But even on top of that, you can have other integrations like Facebook audiences or WordPress, WooCommerce, Zapier, Stripe, all that kind of stuff that you can have so you can have different triggers for different things that you're doing within your business. And that just makes it easier for you to use this and utilize their services without having to have a bunch of different applications in between. Even though I didn't use this all that much, I, I did kind of look around and I looked at some of their training videos and the ability to have specific landing pages, specific websites, even custom forms. It's just another plus on top of that. When I think about the overall usage of Mailer light one of the big things that really stands out to me is just how easy it is to use everything is right there on the left side for you to take you where you need to go there's direct integration with custom domains and so you don't have to worry about going through and learning all the different areas that these things are in and so real quick i want to just go over some of the things i love about mailer light and then i'll talk about a few things that are kind of meh to me so Things that I love about MailerLite. Number one, it's easy to navigate. I don't have a problem getting where I need to go. I don't have to go search for areas. I don't have to flip back and forth between a whole lot of views. I can just click and go where I gotta go, get what I gotta get done, and then move on with my day. It's made it really simple to send out newsletters. It's made it really simple to get people into my list. So as far as I can tell from that, the, the ease of use is way better than most other platforms. The automation itself is really simple to use. I do wholeheartedly agree that there are a lot of applications out there that their automation is complicated. And I don't find that with MailerLite. I think that it's really simple, it's really straightforward, and it, it could be something that anybody could learn in order to build some automation into their workflow. They do have a really cool feature that's called inactive users, and it allows you to basically set up a, a portion where it allows you to identify users that are inactive in your lists and it just checks the entire account. Their default time frame is six months. So you think about that, if you've got somebody in your account that hasn't done anything for six months, it's probably going to be one of those situations that you're just not going to get into their inbox or they're not gonna open your emails. You might as well get them out of your account because when it comes to deliverability, you wanna make sure that you're not sending emails to people who are not opening for too long. If you do that, it can look really bad to some of the email providers. The other thing that's really cool that stands out to me is, you know, and I'll just put a screenshot up here for you, is their pricing. Honestly, I pay almost twice as much for the same level of service for a couple extra features for other platforms that I use for other parts of my business. So the fact that they come in for the advanced plan at 30 bucks a month, that's huge. That, that's It's so cheap to be able to use this platform. And that's for up to 2,500 subscribers. Now, obviously if you get more, then your price is gonna go up, but that's with any email marketing platform. So there's no reason that you need to gouge yourself to use something. This is very reasonably priced. Obviously, I already talked about the dark theme. I love the dark theme. I love it's easier on my eyes. Everything I can, I put in dark theme all the time. The direct connection to funnel builders, the APIs, the Zapier connections, all of that's amazing. I think that's great. And then also the, the ability to connect custom domains, not just to have your email address verified, but even have your return path verified on a custom domain so it actually looks like it's coming from your domain. That's huge. And actually, I've got a report right here that shows a little bit about why this is important. And one of the reasons why this is important is because when you're looking at like DMARC reports, having a custom domain is huge. And you can actually see emails that I've sent from one provider versus the other. And so I've got Git response, which is the GR mail, and then MailerLite, which is the ML send. You can see GR mail fails the SPF check 100% of the time. Like it, it does not pick it up at all because I can't set a custom return path. Whereas with MailerLite, I can set up that custom domain so it returns back to my domain instead of MailerLite's domain. 
And that allows me to be more aligned with my emails, which helps with de deliverability as well. And another really cool thing that's awesome about MailerLite is they automatically get rid of any hard bounces that you have. Anybody who is marked as inactive, it'll automatically get them out of your account so you don't have to worry about that. And even emails that are role-based, so emails that come up like support or info or no reply, stuff like that, those all get nixed out of there too because that's also bad for deliverability because those are just usually catch-all email addresses. So a few things that I'm just kind of iffy on, it's not a deal breaker for me, but a few things that are not really that great about MailerLite. Number one, they don't have a separated autoresponder series. Everything has to be done through automation, even your email sequences for like uh, automated campaigns. And I will say other platforms out there do it better but it doesn't really mean that they're better than MailerLite. It just means that you just have to be a little more creative how you put it together. It doesn't take very long to set up that automation to do an automated email campaign. You noticed I had a couple automations in there. They each send multiple emails and it was just a matter of set up the email, set up a delay and just repeat that all the way through the process. And they work pretty seamlessly. So it's, it's like I said, it's kind of a man, like not really anything that's a deal breaker, but it's still kind of annoying. And so the other thing that stands out to me in terms of the kind of not so great feature is the reporting. Other platforms have great reporting structure and it, like a good example is GetResponse. GetResponse has an amazing reporting structure where they go really deep into how the emails are performing, how open rates are and click rates and unsubscribes and bounces. And you can check just for newsletters and just for autoresponders. The difference with MailerLite is they don't have the reporting all in one place like Get response does, for example, but they do have the reporting in each of the areas. So as you get to a point where you get to those areas, like the automation, for example, you can view the reports once you're in there. They just don't have a dashboard that has all the reporting in one place. And the last thing that really kind of stood out to me was that the dashboard wasn't customizable. So for example, their dashboard here, you just have what they have on there and there's no way to change what you see. Whereas with other platforms, you have the ability a lot of times to customize what you see when you first log in. It's not, again, not a deal breaker, but it's just one of those things that's kind of out there. One more thing that I thought of as well is that's kind of a little interesting is MailerLite does have a pretty strict approval process. They want to make sure that people that are using their platforms are doing it with integrity and doing it for the right reasons and not sending out a lot of spammy and highly salesy and kind of bait and switch type material. And so they do look for a lot of key things like a website that's got real content on it. They want to see that you have uh, an email address set up with a custom domain, a lot of that kind of stuff. And they even ask what you're going to be sending emails about and where you get your emails from. So that way they know that you're going to be a legitimate sender. For a lot of new people, that can be a little overbearing because maybe they're just starting out and they want a platform that's great but MailerLite seems like they're gearing more towards people who are established in their business and less about being great for beginners. And so I can't say that it's a great platform for somebody who's brand new, just getting into email marketing because you might not have anything to really entice them to approve you to send through them. But if you've been around a little bit, you've got a website or some sort of funnel that you can put up there and you've got some emails, subscribers on a list and you can validate that you're collecting them legitimately through some sort of opt-in form and that they're not cold emails or um, bot lists or anything like that, then you should be okay. But th those are just a few things that are kind of iffy about MailerLite. But again, there's more positives than there are negatives. And I'm pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. Overall, I'm starting to really enjoy MailerLite and what it's doing for me and my business. It's helped me grow. It's easier to use. It saves me time. And I just wanted to put this out there as a way to give you an idea of what it looks like from my perspective. And then you can make a decision on your own.